Hello and welcome back to On Your Beauty. Today's video is just a quick get ready with me sort of style video. It's my everyday makeup at the minute. I uh, haven't done one of these in absolutely yonks so I thought it'd be good to have a quick catch up. I've been keeping my eyes quite basic and either just using my Urban Decay Basics palette taking you know crease colour here and all over the lid and then a highlight and then I would generally line my eyes with my Rimmel eyeliner and smudge it out or I have been going for sort of taupe shades which this is the Maybelline colour tattoo in permanent taupe. Today I've gone with the taupe as you'll see but with that I will do a more bold lip so I'm getting back into that and I was inspired by my nails. Do you like my nails? I dug this out it's Elf's um, Plum so quite liking that, those two coats, lovely colour, perfect for autumn fall and I'm starting to feel it now because the weather has really started to change. So uh, keep watching if you'd like to see how I did this. <laughs> so I'm starting with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, this is just the original one and I'm dotting that over my face before I just rub it in with my hands. For foundation I'm using my number 7 Beautifully Matte Foundation in the shade Calico and again dotting that all over my face and I'll use a damp beauty, splun beauty sponge to blend that all in. the blemishes on my face. I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm in the shade NC15 and I'm just dotting that and I will take my uh, beauty sponge again and go in very very lightly. I find if I use the pointed end of the beauty sponge it can be quite good for just pinpoint concealing where I need it. So this is how I do my pinpoint concealing. I generally take the concealer from the back of my hand using the sponge, just the very tip of the sponge and then apply it to the spot and then work it in around the spot and then as you can see again just repeating the process taking the concealer on the sponge from the back of my hand just on the very tip and then lightly dabbing it onto the spot and working it in around it. Now for my under eyes I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm in the shade Chantilly. So I'm just applying a bit there and the other bit and also out towards the outer edge of my eye. I'm feeling a bit grey today so this is a good way to brighten everything up. I'm going to just use my fingers initially and dab that in and gradually just work it into my skin. Once I've worked that in with my finger, um, I will generally take a damp beauty sponge just to blend in the edges into my foundation. I just press it in lightly, I don't you know, rub it or anything else, I'm just pressing it all in. As my eye lid primer, I'm using my MAC Painterly Paint Pot, just rubbing that all over my lid from the moving part all the way up to my eyebrows. To set under my eyes, I'm just using the ELF High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder and once I dab off all the excess, really tap and get rid of that, I'm just dabbing it on with a flat shader brush or concealer brush. Now I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Colour Tattoo in Permanent Taupe and I'm going to apply that just with my finger all over the moving part of my lid. And once I'm happy I've got enough colour on there, I will just go in with a stiffer blending brush and blend out the edges. For my 
crease colour, I'm taking my Naked Basics palette and the shade Naked 2 and I will apply this just using a normal fluffy blending brush. Fancy a bit more colour on my lid so I'm taking this Alme shadow in Smoked which is very similar to the Permanent Taupe but it's just slightly darker and with a bit of a shimmer to it and I'm just applying that with a flat shader brush. And of course blending out the edges using the same blending brush as earlier. I'm going back to my Naked Basics palette and taking Walk of Shame on a different blending brush and I'm just going to use that above my crease just to help soften things in a bit and I don't know just to add a wee bit of lightness to the area. Now for actual highlight I'm going to take Venus from the Basics palette and using the same brush I'm going to run that under my eyebrows and also in around my tear duct. I'm going to line along my top lash line using the Rimmel Scandalized Cold Pencil in black and just lightly dabbing that along. Now I'm taking this smudger brush and I'm just going to smudge that liner out and I will just drag it out past the end of my eyes just to elongate my eyes slightly. I would recommend doing this one eye at a time. I forgot myself today and lined both my eyes before I decided to smudge them out. Taking that same brush, I'm just going to work that underneath my lower lash line, just in the outer corner. I haven't taken any additional product, I'm just using what's left on the brush. I'm just making sure to join up the top and bottom lashes, just you don't want a gap there as such. So I'm just using the brush just to make sure that everything is nicely filled in in that outer corner. I'm just curling my lashes and I will take two mascaras today. Unsurprisingly, I'm starting with the Physicians Formula Organic Wear and I'm going to apply that to my top lashes only. And then taking the Maybelline The Rocket Volume Mascara and that's going to go on as my second layer on my top lashes and I'm just going to use it on the bottom lashes just in the outer corner, just a small, small bit. Now for brows. I'm going to comb them through initially just to get some sort of shape. I have serious brow issues. They're just generally pretty straight and I have to try and get some shape into them. So I'm taking this brow powder from Sigma and it's the shade Scarlet. And I'll use a tiny angle brush just to get some arch along the top if I can, basically. I'll just comb them through again just to try and get that shape as I mentioned before I go in with my Benefit Gimme Brow and this is in the light shade and I'm just going to use it to try and set it in place and very lightly add a wee touch of colour to the wee baldy patches that I have. Now to set my face I'm using my Bare Minerals Mineral Veil and this is the Hydrating Mineral Veil just adds a wee bit of a glow and I lightly buff that in just obviously on my T-zone and around my face and everywhere that is necessary at the minute. To 
contour, I'm taking this NYX blush in taupe and I have this on an angled contour brush. You can see I do the sucky face just to see where the hollow is and then I just lightly apply a bit of colour and buff it up. For blush I am taking my Benefit Dandelion which is this lovely soft pink and I'm just going to lightly apply this to the apples of my cheek and then bring it back towards my ears. adding a wee bit more highlight so I'm taking the Bourjois Java Rice Powder and a tiny brush I'm just going to apply this to the tops of my cheeks and obviously blend it in with my blush. For lips I'm going to start by lining my lips with this Urban Decay 24 Glide On Pencil in Venom. When it's a dark colour like this I like to really take my time with the Cupid's bow because my lips are a tad uneven so I try to even them out slightly but still retain the shape of my lips so taking my time with the Cupid's bow and then I'll work it down around the rest of my top lip and I will gradually fill it in. For lipstick I am going to use this Vivid Violet colour from Smashbox, it is a fantastic purpley toned lipstick but as I've put on a more reddier berry toned lip liner this just becomes much more of a plummy berry colour. I'm sure we all know by now I'm also a fan of blotting and then applying a second coat just to help everything stay in place especially when I'm using a colour like this. Anything to keep it in place is a good thing. So that is the face pretty much complete. I now attempt to spray my face with my Urban Decay setting spray only to discover it has completely run out. It had almost run out in the last video so I should have really known. I'm going to use my Caudalie Beauty Elixir instead just to set everything and to get rid of some of the powdery cakey look. So that is the finished look. Um, it's just really very simple. I have obviously used quite a few products but the overall look is quite simple and quite classic and I think it is quite um, polished, you know, it's nicely finished off in my opinion. You may think otherwise but yeah I spent most of my time on my base and then a bit on the eyes and whatever else. So if you have any questions about anything I've done please let me know down below. And that's it, so thank you very very much for watching. Please like if you liked, please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!